Hi, good morning everyone. My name is Venkateshwar Rao. Today, I am going to discuss about guidelines for social media security. So, from this, you all can learn uh, how to secure your online accounts and how you can do your online social networking safely. So, the agenda for today's discussion is overview of social networking services, security risks and concerns, tips for safer and secure uses of social networks, report abuse and restoring or recovering hacker accounts or profiles. So, the first I will just start discussion overview of social networking services. In this, naturally human beings are social animals and they are very curious to access and share information. Some users may do knowingly or some may do unknowingly. From all these facts, obviously our mind will drift towards the social networking sites. Social networking sites is an online medium that allows users from different background to create a profile and interact with the other users on the same websites. Social networking sites are one of the easiest forms of communication these days and have become an unavoidable thing for youth. Every sector of the society are dependent on these social networking sites. A website designed to allow several users to publish content freely on any subject for use by friends and others. Such a site allows users to create a personal profile visible to the people they allow. A social networking service is a platform to build social networks among people who share similar interests, activities, backgrounds or real life connections. Online web services enabling people to connect with each other and sharing of information. In this sharing of information, people will very much interested to see common friends, interests, personal information and they are very much interested to post photos, videos and for others to see and give comment on that. And people are, users are very much interested to communicate via email, instant messages, etc. So the fundamental concept of social networking services, so we can increase our contacts and we can uh, stay our presence in the social media and we can maintain virtual community and we can maintain relationships and we can have a lot of connections and we can improve our social skills and we can make new friends and you can uh, discuss many things with the existing friends and we can have our presence on the internet and we can use the internet and we can stay online for our daily routine purposes and we can improve our career opportunities as well based on the posts and information available on the social networking websites and we can make alliances and plenty of business opportunities is also available through social networks. So there are several types of social networking services. I will just mention a few how these uh, all websites have categorized. There are general sites geared towards teens and schools and colleges, universities will also maintain various social networking websites and uh, many websites uh, based on the cultures and many websites uh, contains businesses purposes and music, videos and sports purposes. So the example of popular online services, Facebook is one of the popular uh, soft networking website which is for general purpose and majorly attract to youths and myspace.com it is another category the general category which is also similar to Facebook and it is having a global presence LinkedIn so professional and career purposes so different kind of exports with their own expertise they will come on social uh, online and they will interact with similar expertise professionals and they can increase their career opportunities and professional uh, life. Classmates.com, this is another kind of uh, social networking website where it targets on school, colleges and uh, different kind of uh, work environments and many others. And Twitter is another social networking website which is a micro blogging website where 
we can just whatever you are feeling you can post that uh, your idea or whatever your thoughts on some uh, social issue or some uh, something else so youtube is another uh, social networking website which post videos of various uh, trends and various uh, current uh, movie trends and various social issues and entertainment google plus is another uh, social networking website which Uh, gives you many other services as like other websites and websites for different classifieds which gives for recruitments and and a user or person want to give its own personal ads that will also be done through the social networking websites and popularity of the social networking websites so i will mention some of the uh, figures where uh, the sites are popular so linkedin this is a professional social networking website it is having over 400 million users and facebook is one of the toppest social networking website which uh, having presence globally and it is having 1.44 billion monthly active users and twitter this uh, is having 330 million active users so this will provide a sense of community and people can stay connected with family and friends and make new friends and this social networking websites allow users or people for self expression and self representation and the benefits of this online social networking communication the vast majority of college students use online social networks and organizations also use this for marketing their products and selling their services online social networking sites also can help them reach this potential buyers by advertising on the websites online social networks provide communal forum for expression self as a group or as a mass expression and collaboration with many groups and connection with old friends and find new friends and connect with them and users or people can also play games with friends as a multiplayer game using the social networking websites by using the online social networking website for your security issues for organizations as well as individuals also so this is one of the uh, popular social network object facebook it is giving people to power to share and make the world more open and connected and uh, twitter twitter is a service for friends family and coworkers to communicate and stay connected through the exchange of quick frequent answers to one simple questions and linkedin is another popular social networking website this provides professional network of trusted contacts gives you advantage in your career and is one of your most valuable assets linkedin exists to help you make better use of your professional network and help the people you trust in the later so myspace is another website it will give space for you to make friendship and communicate with friends and myspace helps you connect with your friends and colleagues and there are several such kind of social network websites also available i am not going to list out so but the many websites with different categories are exist on the internet so the social network websites accepted by the public see social networks are very much well accepted by the public public is looking for convenience for the security of their activity and people are not checking carefully before accepting any friend request in the social networking websites now i am going to discuss about security risks and concerns emerging from these social networking websites and the activity done by the various users so social sites have negative aspects as well other than their advantages because of the growing popularity of these sites they serve as a target for cyber crime and attacks it is mostly based on how users are using these sites like facebook and many more these attackers or cyber criminals can easily access and gather their personal and sensitive information users are less aware and the least concerned about the security setting of these social networking websites or social media and they easily become a victim of 
privacy and identity breach. So due to the lack of cyber knowledge to the users of this social media, it is the main cause of all the above facts due to which private photos and personal information are shared among the network. The security attacks continue to be major concern of all users. How to keep social attacking sites more secure and more private are the challenges that have been concerned for every user. The default settings where you logged in and you start using the website with the default settings, it will share everything. You just have to change their default privacy setting options to make their accounts and personal information more secure. Another important fact is privacy has become an important concern in online social networking sites. Users are unaware of the privacy risks involved in when they share their sensitive information on the social networking sites. Maximum number of users are not aware of the security risk associated whenever they share sensitive data on the social sites. So that privacy concern will be raised among those online communication if their personal data has been shared to the other users. So now I am going to list what are the major security risks emerging from this social media. There are several security risks are there. I am just keeping more focus on major threats which may do major damage to the users. That is malware distribution social engineering, identity theft, cyberbullying, financial frauds, stalking and harassment, sexual predation, defamation, child abuse, cyber propaganda. Now I am going to discuss in detail about so each and every security threat. So in the later session we will discuss how to prevent from all these attacks and what kind of protection measures we need to follow. Other than the security risks, there are several privacy concerns as well. So the privacy concerns will pose from what kind of information about you that you are posting and what kind of information about you that others are posting like your friends. Your friends may post some information about you that may lead to a privacy concern for you. Information about you and social networking sites collect and share with others. This is also another major concern where all users unknowingly putting all their sensitive personal information onto the social networking websites and the website owners may collect this information and may use for other malicious purposes or it they may share with others which may be a privacy concern to the user. And coming to the first category of security threat, malware distribution. In this downloading or installing malware, whenever a user visiting a social networking website and performing its activity after successfully logging in, some of the posts may contain malicious content which may download to his system and it will damage the system or create loss of assets, information assets to the user. So in this various several categories are there where what kind of malware are possible to download through the social networking website. Malicious ads. So whenever you are just you are doing the social networking on any of the social networking website, in between the activities some ads will pop up. Those ads may lead to malicious websites where in turn malware will be downloaded. In the similar way click jacking. Whenever user clicking on some post or like clicking on like or share or something as any such kind of action there may be a chance of downloading malware into his mission. Wall post whenever putting wall post in that wall post may be embedded with malicious content or chart messages whenever doing charting with friends or someone else the messages may contain some embedded malicious content. With this content the user, user account may be hijacked. And my wallet was stolen and I stuck at some place. Send me some cash now. These kind of messages some malicious people, miscreants will put. So with this user may get disturbed and may lead to threat to the user. 
spam email pretending to be from Facebook admins. This is another kind of threat which very difficult to identify and take preventive measures. Users should be aware what kind of messages users to receive from Facebook admins and what kind of alerts we are receiving from Facebook. Based on that, we should build a trust list. So accordingly, the users should act. There is a well-known malware attack on the popular social networking website Coopface Malware. The Coopface Malware targeted on Facebook users, which created a lots of havoc by collecting all users' information and siphoned to other remote malicious locations. And suspicious friend request, and if the user allowing that request, it may take the user to a different link where malware may be hosted. And bogus Facebook groups or bogus Facebook pages profiles, those things will entice the user to open some link or visit some website or open some image or video, which in turn will take the user to malicious links. The suspicious or malicious applications can also be hosted and embedded in a photo or a video which where the videos are viral and very much trending. And many URL shortening services also there where the real URL will be hidden and the user will be supplied with a very short URL where the user is unaware of where the URL is going after clicking that link. So this is another kind of serious threat where users cannot immediately identify how he is becoming a victim to malware attacks. The another category, social engineering. This social engineering is going from many years and still it is a top threat for the users which will use the psychological feelings or emotions of internet users. In this social engineering, the unwitting user become more social. This is act of manipulating people into performing actions or divulging their confidential information to the remote user. In this, the intentions are to fish the user to obtain the sensitive information like social security numbers or bank account details, credit card numbers to commit financial frauds. And this is also another kind of platform for malware propagation. And in this Nigerian 419 scam is the topest scam where they use social engineering method to trick the user to pass on their personal information or become a victim for a big scams. The social engineering scams, this 419 advanced scam, the term came from the Nigerian criminal code obtaining property by false pretenses, cheating, dealing with fraud. In this several variants are there, lottery scams, fake job offer, fake admissions and a collecting fees, beneficiary of a will and charity scams, friend or loss of wallet scam and fake government schemes and a popular website. In this lottery scam, user will receive an email mentioning that the user has won the lump sum amount which in turn to claim they have to pay some amount. So in this way, user will be catched and tricked to pay some amount. At a later stage, the scamster will change his identity and contact details. Another category is fake job offers. This fake job offer also, some companies email ID is spoofed by scamsters and sent email to the users mentioning that user has got selected in some job where the user has really not applied to that. So in this kind of scams, user has not to respond to such kind of emails. Fake admissions and collecting admission fees. This is also another kind of trend going on online where popular university websites got cloned and hosted on a different server and mentioning various courses and what kind of features are available in each course and how to pay online and they will provide account details as well. In this way, users and parents and children are 
becoming victims of these kind of scams. Beneficiary of a will, it is an old, long, decade type of scam where will receive a message, text message or email where some unknown person will mention so and so amount, lump sum amount was in the name of some so and so person where that person has died in some plane crash or some accident and that amount will be transferred to you if the processing fees will be paid. If the user start communicating with them and exchanging messages or some, uh, some kind of details and the user will got trapped. And charity scams, meaning organizations names will be used by scamsters where they pretended like they are doing some charity services and they request for donations. Friend or lost wallet scam, this is also another kind of scam online and these kind of scams are also physically there and fake government schemes and popular websites in this what government schemes are running currently and how much benefit is there and what popular schemes are there based on that scamsters will create some replica of government websites and how the scheme is going on and how the users will be tricked into pay some amount so in these uh, online schemes uh, government schemes through online accounts the spam or fraud this is also a different category of threat to the online social networking website users in this user will receive notifications pretend to be from uh, genuine banks or user will receive advertisements or text messages or emails mentioning all the different kind of scams which we have already discussed earlier and job portals seasons festivals and special breaking news events. In all these kind of occasions, scamsters will craft their text or message and send to multiple users where they can get response from at least minimum number of users to make them victim and gain some money. And third category is identity theft. In this, the identity of a user will be stolen and the stolen information may be used for some other malicious purposes somewhere else. This kind of fraud committed or attempted using the identifying information of another person without permission. In this identity theft, it is a crime in which an imposter obtains key pieces of information such as name, address, bank account numbers and uses it for their own personal gain. In this two different major categories of cyber attacks are there that is one phishing, second information stealing malware. In this phishing, this term phishing was derived from actual phishing. In this password plus phishing that is called phishing attack. This phishing attack is defined as it is an act of sending a communication in the form of email or text message or fax or some SMS to a user falsely claiming to be a legitimate enterprise or organization or any brand in an attempt to scam the unsuspecting user into disclosing their sensitive private information that can be used for identity theft attacks. In this identity theft, the identity difference between the original and fake with some basic parameters. User has to apply some minimum common sense to identify what kind of information they are asking and what is the URL or what is the hyperlink it is showing in the address bar and is there any secure mechanism is there or is there any certificate, security certificate is available for this website or is there any indication or notification or browser is it popping to us to indicate some phishing attack is going on and information asking on the website is also give you some indication about this is a phishing website and user should not divulge any personal information or any online banking account details or any credit card details or any other login credentials which are very sensitive 
and need to keep secure. And in this phishing attacks, the attacker generates an email that appears legitimate and request the recipient to perform some action. The criminal, cyber criminal will send an email which the email was specially crafted and created where the user believes that this has come from the original source. And depend on the content of the email, the recipient, that means the user, will trick to open some attachment sent on the email or complete some form html form provided in the email or the criminal trick the user to open some website where the link has been provided in the email content with this the attacker harvest the victim sensitive information and may exploit in the future there are several types of phishing techniques are there Use, which are used by cyber criminals which users should aware of all these things those are email or message phishing where the phishing attack launch on users through emails or some text messages which may contain some hyperlink or some attached document where the user may trick to supply a sensitive information SMS phishing in this simple text message will be sent to the user which contains the link hyperlink where if the user clicking that link it will take the user to a different phishing website. Wishing this is a voice phishing where the user will get a phone call over the phone call the miscreant will talk like he is calling from some bank or some financial institute or some other popular organization where he need some kind of personal information from the user such as credit card details or ATM card details or online banking username and password and transaction passwords. And another kind of attack, phishing attack is a spear phishing. In this spear phishing, miscreants will target on a specific organization where they may want to steal some business documents or they want to intrude into their organization network to get some valuable information from the organization. A man in the middle attack, this is another kind of attack where the cyber criminal will sit in between the user and the financial institute and all the communication will be monitored by the miscreant where the communication is happening between user and the bank. In this kind of attack, user does not aware somebody is sitting in the middle and viewing or monitoring all the communication between bank and the user. With this, I have finished the phishing kind of attacks, how, how that will happen and we will discuss later about the prevention measures. And now I am going to discuss about a different category of security risk with this uh, social networking website that is the malicious software. In this malicious software, there are various variants and categories. In this viruses, trojans, rootkits, worms, spyware, crimeware and adware. These are all different categories of soft piece of softwares which will create some problem to the user or may harm their information assets. And cyber bullying, this is a, another kind of dangerous attack which will play with the emotional feelings of user who are using the social networking websites. In this, the other side which is pretending like a friend or some uh, link came through our friends and contacts which will start abusing in the form of messages and harass and pose threatening messages to the teenagers and the other side person will insult the user and based on this the emotional imbalance 
will happen to the user and it may lead to many other disturbances. And another category, cyber harassment can include things like impersonating or cracking into online accounts of the users and spreading rumors about the victim and sharing photos or videos without consent of the victim user. Cyber stalking and online harassment is the means to stalk or harass an individual or a group or an organization. It may include false accusations and defamation. It may also include monitoring, identity theft, threats, vandalism, solicitation for sex or gathering information that may be used to threaten or harass. The cyber harassment is repeated behavior that is designed to humiliate, control or scare the person being targeted. So there are various uh, different kind of statistics how the users are becoming victims of all these kind of uh, hilarious attacks, cyber attacks. In this about half 46% of stalking victims experience at least one unwanted contact per week. And 11% of the victims said they had been stalked for 5 years or more. Approximately 1 in 4 victims reported some form of cyber stalking such as emails or through instant messaging services. In this, the major victims are women and they are at greater risk to these stalking attacks. However, women and men were equally likely to experience harassment. And another category of security risk with these social networking services, cyber propaganda. This cyber propaganda can be defined as the use of information technologies to manipulate an event or influence public perception towards a certain point of view. In this various several different categories are there in making cyber propaganda in this fake news, opinion shaping and influencing and changing view of mind of a user or a citizen and mob lynching, spreading fake content, images, videos to hurt the sentiments of the religion or a specific community or some regional group and a political and social unrest through instant messaging applications like this WhatsApp, Telegram and Instagram. These are all various instant messaging applications which are very popularly used by many users around the globe and several organizations very intentionally working to defame some targeted users or targeted groups or targeted religions or communities or some political leaders and VIPs. They will create some fake news and they will spread to multiple groups where the groups in turn will share with other groups. In this way, the fake news are spreading around the world or around or within the country. Sharing of embedded content where malicious links are embedded in that, where in turn users will open that link and indirectly will become the victim of some malware attacks or some remote attacks where they harmed by removing their content or deleting their content or infected with malware in their system. Financial frauds. This financial fraud is another category of cyber risk. Some through social media websites, where in the social media websites, some miscreants will create a fake QR code. That QR code will be supplied to their friends groups or other groups. So, where in turn users will scan that code and indirectly it will take to the remote website where different obscene contents or malicious content or which is objectionable content located on the domain or website. So because the QR code does not show directly any hyperlink or URL where you, what you are visiting. This is another kind of attack where the users will be tricked to visit 
unknown malicious websites and leakage of card data and cloning of cards the card data will be leaked whenever the user doing online transaction and at the same time he is visiting some short networking service or other websites where adware or spyware sitting on the system and it will read the what kind of key strokes done by user and based on this the spyware or adware will collect the user behavior and what kind of transactions the user is doing and the data will be collected and sent to remote locations and with this kind of act the users mobile wallet or e wallet will be compromised and the money electronic money saved in mobile wallet or e wallet will be stolen by miscreants and this is another kind of attack atm cloning and skimming where the role of social media service is very less but the user has to be aware of this financial fraud whenever the user visiting the atm and taking money where the atm is cloned and some cloning device was placed at the atm and it will collect and read the data from the card and will send to some remote location websites this is a atm cloning attack where an additional device was inserted in the actual atm card reader and it is difficult to identify by the users some additional device was installed and other than the security this there are various security concerns as well with this uh, social networking websites facebook users access the system mostly using cell phones this act will open up free access to anyone getting hold of the cell phone of a user without the need for users id and password in this if the cell phone was given to friend and the friend may see our facebook activity or our gmail activity or some other activity where no need of login again and again facebook gives an option to activate user id or password but in reality the users do not do this and facebook allows close friends and friends and acquaintances to post data or information photos videos and other types of classifications such as restricted or friends by city or religion or group are feasible and by default the privacy settings are set to public meaning anyone could see the profile and wall of a specific user people have the habit of putting data both marital status address information political beliefs what user is believing and what kind of practices of religion the user religion and what is his hometown etc in the profile which are submitting at the time of signing up onto the online social networking websites all this information is very much limited and personal and sensitive to the specific user based on this information somebody can attribute the user about his habits and his map his ideas what kind of his behavior so with all these things later stage there may be a chance to launch attacks on his accounts to gain some profit and anyone in friend circle can post photos on your wall check in future in facebook tells your friends where is your gps location and by changing privacy settings you can avoid getting tagged but it does not happen app passwords can be created but does not happen and another different kind of threat recently observed where it is hurting the psychological feelings of teenagers and in turn will hurt the parents as well in this blue wheel is a one dangerous challenge which was spreading on the social networking websites where the user will receive a request at friend request 
and the user accepting that request and slowly the mind will be captured by the remote person and he will narrate various steps to follow what to do and how to do and how to play the game and how to become well and what kind of challenges the user has to fulfill to go to the next challenge so there are negative people sitting on the internet and trying to create havoc and disturbance and social unrest in different regions with all these psychological or suicidal games teenagers are the major victims and with this game there are some number of challenges each and every challenge having some activity which hurt physically to the user and after that there is another challenge has come that is a momo challenge it targets on kids or children who are watching youtube videos or doing some online activity through whatsapp on facebook this is a similar kind of online game which play with emotional feelings or psychological behavior of the student or teenager up to now we have discussed about social networking websites and what kind of services provided by those websites how users will avail those services by creating their account login credentials with username and password and what kind of activities will happen in the social networking websites how users are interacting communicating with their friends and what kind of facilities are available and after this we have discussed what are the major security threats posed by these social networking websites and what are the security concerns to the user and what kind of necessary things to do and what kind of awareness the user should have so while doing activity on the social networking websites so basic things we have already discussed about all the social networking websites the popularity and the benefits and what are the major popular social network websites are available and major security threats and security concerns in the next section we will discuss about what are the security tips for better protection and safely doing social networking activities thank you